Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and somebody was asking me if going in one of the uh, release preview rings of the insiders is a safe thing to do if you wish to move on to a new version of Windows before everybody else gets it. Now this is what I've done on my machine here. If you go to the settings, if I go to Windows Update and I go uh, to the Windows Insider program, you'll see that I am enrolled on Windows 11 uh, in the release preview ring. And that, of course, is what gives me the ability to get right now the 22H2 version or the Windows 11 uh, 2022 update before everybody else. If you do this on Windows 10 and your machine is unable to move on to Windows 11, you will also get uh, the same thing. You'll be moving on to 22H2 for Windows 10, which is a small cumulative update. One thing that I have to say, if you do do, you know, go there because you want to have something in advance before everybody else, make sure that you choose unroll this device when the next version of Windows releases and make sure it's on so that you actually don't stay on the Insider program after release. What this switch does is actually get you out of the Insider builds once it's officially released so you'll be on the same version. Now for the stability, for the performance, there is always a small risk for re you know, the release preview compared to the standard consumer version because release preview exists to test it's kind of the last test phase before official release but that said it carries very little risk so indeed you are getting the same thing that people will get in the fall so for a windows 11 uh, september the 20th when 22h2 comes out for windows 10 somewhere in october but you are kind of a tester. You are there to make sure that it's all right for everybody else. Now, I've rarely seen anybody on release preview have problems with Windows, but it is a higher risk, slightly higher risk than if you'd stay on the standard version of Windows um, for sure. But um, if that's what you wish, then it's up to you. Like I said, um, if you're wondering, should I do this or not? Probably that answers the question that you should not. Because I think anybody that wants to move on to those versions before everybody else already knows uh, you know, that they want to do it and they're enthusiasts and they're fine with it. Of course, a knowledge of how to reinstall Windows is almost required because you never know what could happen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.